Hey guys, what's up? Caboose was here. We're back in the Redstone world for another tutorial. Um, as you've noticed, or may have noticed, I've been building a little bit more, so I think I'm going to make these videos every Sunday. Um, so yeah, I uh, didn't get any comments on the last video of what I should do next. Uh, however, when people do join this world, when I was working on my latest thing, which was a Redstone clock, for one of my new big builds I've been doing. Um, they've been asking what the uh, noob hut is. Um, so I'm going to show you that because I figure why not. So basically what you have here, just a simple setup. Um, it's basically a block update thing. So you put the water like that and then you can destroy that block. And as you notice the water doesn't fall down there because uh, it hasn't been updated. Um, but, neat little thing you can do, if I go like this, um, trying to get it, there we go. So now you can still see, like, the water flow, so if we just put the pork chop in, and the fuel source, you'll see that it updates, um, because this had to change texture, um, by adding, like, the fire and the glowingness of it. And as you can see, it's changed. Now the water is flowing in both directions. And you also get a cooked pork chop out of it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to give myself another pork chop. Um, and we're going to head up here. Um, so basically, um, what you do to set this up, um, is basically a lot of torches on sand. Um, basically, when this torch goes, this block of sand will fall, which means these torches will fall, which is holding up these, and etc, etc. Basically, you get, like, the whole floor will fall out from underneath you. So, this is, like, a good little trap that you can set up. Um, so, yeah. There's water. It goes in there. And then you destroy this block. And that water will then flow down, knocking out that torch. Um, I didn't do it in this, but you could set it up for... Like, let's say, falling into a pit of lava. I'm not quite sure why that was there. <clears throat> but yeah, you can have them just, like, fall into a pit of lava uh, instead of what this does, and it doesn't have a button on it. Because I had to shut it off because I had to rebuild it once. So yeah, it's got the basic necessities, some books, furnace... Might notice some torches come through the ground, but hopefully they don't. Uh, I got a nice little bed. Um, so yeah. Basically, <clears throat> we'll put this pork chop in. And we'll put the wooden planks in. And, uh, we'll wait for that to cook. Right? Act. Oh, jeez. Sand. So yeah, as I said, you could have this so it, like, falls down into a pit of lava. Um... And yeah, it works pretty well. Um, I've actually done it in a survival world um, on PC um, in a server. I had this trap set up. Yeah, it worked out pretty nice. Fortunately, I had to rebuild it, but uh, yeah, it worked, and that's all that matters. So, that didn't really take us that long to show. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly set autosave off, um, and show you one other thing, uh, what could be quick, uh, I'll show you combination locks. So this was the first one that I made, uh, when the right combo is put in, or input, the door will open, and, uh, as you can see, a lot of redstone work to it. Uh, and if I remember correctly, you'll hear pistons on all of them. Uh, I set that up just to trick people. There we go. So that's the right combo if you ever joined this world and wanted to see inside. Um, but yeah, basically, overly complicated, in my opinion. Basically, I use like, redstone connectivity and pistons on everything, and yeah, it was, uh... It was interesting, to say the least. So yeah, that's how you set it up, really overly complicated. 
Um, I also added it to a note block just because I could. Um, so now I'll just go ahead and, you know, I'll just leave that actually. And we got this setup, which is a lot neater and a lot easier as well. So basically, as you can tell, someone has inputted the correct one and didn't reset it. But basically, all of them start down um, or up even doesn't really matter but basically like let's say the code is this right and that will open it so it's one up one down one up two down um, but basically if you flip this switch it will shut off or not work because the redstone is set up to repeaters where this is kind of like an inverter actually this is an inverter um, so what you need to do is you need to shut the power off or on off needs to be off um, in order for it to work so yeah that's a lot more simpler than what I had set up over there so I'm not going to show you the accommodation for this um, just because it's the same kind of setup as this is um, so yeah if you wanted to see if you can figure out the combination for this um, you can go ahead and join my world my gamer tag is the same as my YouTube um, I'm working on the redstone clock um, recently and um, I think I have a new idea for what to build in here um, it's probably gonna be another mini game sort of thing because um, I got connect for now battleship um, so yeah, if you guys want me to build something that you don't see here, uh, or go over this again more in depth, if you saw the last video and you didn't quite understand one of the things that I made, um, just let me know and I can either invite you to this world or just make another video explaining it. Um, so yeah, leave a comment on what you would like to see next, uh, otherwise I'll just again pick something random uh, so we got sliding doors um, seamless doors I should say uh, fancy ways and easy ways to hide your stuff in a survival server uh, I think I got two or three of those if you want to see how the hell I made the battleship um, connect for uh, or the clock the clock would probably be two or three episodes um, especially if you wanted to see two digits um, or if you wanted to see the block update or block switcher just let me know um, and I'll be happy to show you guys so uh, yeah just post a comment and that will be the next video next Sunday um, but I've been Caboosus here like subscribe favorite for more do all of them do none of them it's completely up to you. I won't force you. I'll catch you guys next time.